Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you guys my favorite donut recipe ever. Now I've been making my cinnamon sugar coated beignets with sea salt caramel dipping sauce. These are just to die for. There's a local restaurant in town that makes these and we always, always get them as a dessert. The flavors are just phenomenal. We're going to start with a soft yeast dough. And while that dough is proofing, I'm gonna show you how to make the sea salt caramel dipping sauce. And after frying the beignets, coat them in a simple cinnamon sugar. And I love to enjoy these while the beignets are still warm. Dip them into a warm caramel sauce. I mean, these are just mind-blowingly delicious. You guys are gonna love them from the very first bite. For the full list of ingredients and the written instructions, head on down into the video description box and over to my website. I'm also gonna have this recipe with metric measurements. Meanwhile, let's get started. And for the yeast dough, I'm going to start with one cup of whole milk. I've just heated this in the microwave. It needs to be between 120 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Sprinkle in one tablespoon of active yeast. Give that a mix and just let this stand on the side for about five minutes. In a large mixing bowl, I'm going to combine half a cup of melted unsalted butter and I've let this cool down. You don't want it to be too hot. Add in one egg plus one egg yolk half a cup of white granulated sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of salt. Give that a mix, make sure the eggs are well beaten. Give the milk and yeast mixture a quick whisk and then pour it into the bowl. And now I'm ready to start adding in my flour. I've measured out four cups of all-purpose flour. I like to add a little bit at a time, whisking it at first. And every time you add, make sure you're mixing until there are no clumps remaining. And once the dough starts to form, I'm gonna switch over to my spatula. Sprinkle your work surface generously with some of the remaining flour and then turn out the dough. And we're going to knead the dough for about four to five minutes. You want it to be really nice and soft. So as you see, I haven't added all four cups. I still have about half a cup left in here. And sprinkle the flour as needed. I'm going to transfer my dough back into my mixing bowl and cover this bowl with a clean tea towel and set it into a warm corner of the kitchen to proof for about an hour, hour and a half. Now, I like to let it set near my stove, especially if my oven is preheating. That warm air really helps the dough proof a little bit quicker. Meanwhile, I'm gonna show you how to make that sea salt caramel dipping sauce. It is so incredibly delicious and it's the perfect addition to these beignets. For the sauce, we're going to start with one cup of white granulated sugar. Pour that into a medium-sized saucepan. Make sure that the pan isn't too small and pour in a quarter cup of water. And then we don't wanna start at this point. Just leave it just as it is and turn on your burner to a medium-high temperature. Once the sugar dissolves and comes up to a simmer, don't stir it, just let it simmer away until the syrup starts to caramelize. Once the sugar is nicely caramelized, pour in half a cup of heavy cream. And this is why you wanna have a larger saucepan because it is going to kind of boil and bubble. And we're going to drop in a quarter cup of unsalted butter. Add in a teaspoon of sea salt flakes. And whisk this until that butter is completely melted. Remove the caramel sauce from the stove top and then drop in a teaspoon of vanilla extract or this vanilla bean paste. It adds so much incredible flavor. Whisk that in and then set this caramel sauce aside to chill. Once your dough has proofed, you wanna punch it down gently. Sprinkle some flour over your work surface. and then gently roll the dough out into a small square, about 12 by 12 inches. And then using a sharp knife or a bench scraper like this one, I'm first going to score the dough 
in total squares and then we'll cut it all the way through. The little squares or triangles that you end up with, they don't have to be perfect. They don't always have to be uh, the same size. These are ready for the second proofing. I like to proof them on a separate baking sheet closer to the oven so they proof faster. Top with a tea towel and then proof for another 30 minutes or so until that dough has doubled up in size. And half an hour later, my donuts are really light and fluffy and I'm ready to start preheating my oil. So I like to use a saute pan like this one, pour in about an inch and a half of canola oil. And I like this oil simply because it's less expensive than say avocado oil and um, it, does, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. So it's really mildly flavored, making it perfect for this recipe. We're going to heat this until it reaches 325 degrees Fahrenheit. While I'm waiting for my oil to preheat, I'm going to make my cinnamon sugar. I have one cup of white granulated sugar. I'm going to add in two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and then just toss this together. Super simple. And then we're going to drop our hot donuts into this mixture as soon as they come out of the oil. Into the hot oil, I'm going to carefully drop in my dough. Usually do about five four to five pieces at a time, as many as will fit, but don't overcrowd the pan. And then fry the donuts for about four minutes, turning once they're a nice a golden color. And I like to turn them every minute or so until they're a rich, deep golden color. And as these donuts finish frying, I'm going to take them out and set them onto a wire rack. And I've lined underneath a paper towel just to catch all the excess oil. And then while the donuts are still hot, we're going to dip them into that cinnamon sugar. And then you need to do this while they're hot, otherwise that sugar is not going to stick. Turn them round and round, make sure they're nicely coated. adding in the second batch of donuts. And once they're proofed, this cooking process, the deep frying process goes really quickly. Just four to five minutes per batch and you have some incredible donuts to enjoy. And with our beignets all done, it's time to enjoy. I love to eat these while they're still warm. And I also like to warm up the caramel sauce so that you can easily dip it right in. This combination is heavenly. For the full list of ingredients and the written instructions, don't forget to head on down into the uh, description box and then over to my website. I'm gonna have everything online there for you. All right, I have a little piece here, kind of like the scraps of the dough. Dip that in. Oh, this caramel sauce is so incredible. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I love this salted caramel. It is the perfect complement to the beignets and just super addictive. You guys are not going to be able to stop it. Just one of these donuts. Mmm. Mmm. I'm just so excited for you guys to try this recipe. These are just my favorite donuts ever, and they're gonna be so great for the holiday season and for Thanksgiving. If you guys enjoyed my latest episode, please give me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. I always love to hear from you guys, and I'll see you next time with a new recipe. Meanwhile, I need to go take these over to my neighbor's house so that I don't eat all of them. <laughs> mm.